Hey everybody. So tonight I'm going to try something that I've never um, done before. I um, am personally a big meatloaf fan. Um, I think it's super simple and delicious, but I have never tried chicken meatloaf before. So this is a super simple recipe that I found um, that I'm going to be sharing with y'all tonight. Um, the first step down here, um, once you get all scrolled through all this, wonderful stuff, sorry. Um, so obviously step one, you're going to preheat your oven. So I went ahead and started that already. Uh, so my oven is, well, got to focus here, maybe, sorry. My oven is already preheated to 350. Um, so now I'm going to uh, place my one pound of ground chicken in this bowl and crumble it up just a little bit. Um, and then I'll be ready to go on to the spice and seasoning part of it. So I'll be back in just a second. So I am going on to the next step here on the instructions. So you're going to um, put one and three quarters cup of breadcrumbs in a bowl. Um, I only have, I ran out, I only have a cup of breadcrumbs. But anyway, I'm sure it's still going to taste delicious. So you add in your breadcrumbs. You do half a cup of a finely chopped onion. And you do a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. I had shredded, um, but it calls for the grated cheese. I'm sure whichever one you have will work just fine. Um, and then parsley, um, it does say to use a quarter cup of fresh parsley. Um, I don't have any, so I am going to do four um, teaspoons um, of this dried parsley instead. And so this is two, and this here will make four teaspoons of parsley. And then you're doing a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. If I could open it up right, that would probably help. So bear with me. And I apologize for the lighting. I'm sure it's horrible, but that's what I'm dealing with for right now. It does also call for one teaspoon of salt. and a quarter uh, teaspoon of pepper, but I have my little grinder here, so I'm just gonna kinda eyeball it. And my husband and I kind of like a little, we like a little bit of pepper on our food, so that might be a little more than a quarter teaspoon, but I'm gonna get this um, stirred up here and then I'm going to add it to my ground chicken and mix it all together. So I will be back to show you that in just a second. So this is what it looks like um, when the breadcrumb mixture is all stirred in with the chicken. Um, I didn't remember if I told you in the beginning, but I um, had Italian style breadcrumbs, um, but the recipe did call for um, regular breadcrumbs. So, um, I don't remember if I said that or not, but if I did, disregard this, but we are ready to move on to the next little step. Alright, so now I'm adding in all of the wet ingredients to the recipe. So you have one cup of milk, and you have two eggs. Second one was a little stubborn. And you do two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. I think I said that right. Yeah. Oh. And two there. And then you also do two tablespoons of tomato paste. And then it says to go ahead and give this all a good mix. So I'm going to do that and then I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. All right, so first of all, um, I, was, I said I was gonna show you. This is what the uh, chicken meatloaf, wow, chicken meatloaf, excuse me, looks like right now. Um, I am moving on to the last little step before you put it in the oven and this is working on the glaze. 
So you do have three quarters cup of ketchup that go into a bowl. Because you know what's meatloaf without the delicious glaze on the top. And you do three tablespoons of brown sugar. I got excited. Got excited with the Worcestershire, but I'll do that one in just a second. So, but yeah. So you just do this one. So there's your three tablespoons of brown sugar, and then you have your one tablespoon of Worcestershire, and then I'm going to give this a mix. Once I get, there's your one tablespoon. All right, let me mix this together and we'll get ready to get this bad boy in the oven. All right, so we are cruising right along here. Um, this is what the glaze looks like. Um, it's probably a horrible picture, but I will show you it once we get everything in the pan here. Um, it does say to place a couple tablespoons of your glaze in your, I think it was like an eight by four inch uh, loaf pan. Um, as you can see, my loaf pan is a little bit bigger, um, but that's still gonna be totally fine. So I might actually add one more tablespoon of this glaze to the bottom of my pan and just kind of get it well, sort of mixed in there. Get all the corners covered at least. Um, and then you're just basically going to pour your chicken mixture right in that pan. Kind of like so. I'm just going to kind of scoop it out here. It's probably just going to try to fall out anyway. Set that off to the side. Move this around a little bit. I'm just going to kind of, I don't want to say smush it, but kind of get it all evened out in my loaf pan here before I put my glaze on the top here and I did not grease that loaf pan either um, the recipe didn't say you had to it just said to glaze it with or put a little bit of that glaze on there um, so yeah and then basically you're just gonna top it off with this glaze and again I'm just gonna spread it around a little bit I'm just gonna dump Get it all in there first before I give it a good mix. Um, but then, yeah, you just are going to stick it in your oven. I believe it said for 80 to 90 minutes. Basically, you just want to make sure that your chicken is cooked through. Um, I think it's 165 if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, you definitely want to make sure it's all the way cooked through. Uh, but let me just get on my phone again really quick just to make sure double check my recipe uh yes and it says to bake in the preheated oven uncovered for 80 to 90 minutes or until the internal temperature reaches 165 degrees and the loaf is cooked through so for me personally i'm going to just go ahead and stick it in for the full 90 um just to be damn sure that it's done but anyway uh, we will see you in about 90 minutes with the finished product. Alright, so it has been about 90 minutes. I want to do to kind of get the final look here. Um, this is what it looks like after I pulled some of it out of the pan. But yeah, this is chicken meatloaf and I can't wait to try it. Thanks.